can we leverage large language models for detecting influence campaigns? Addressing this research question, this paper proposes novel detection methods using LLMs that incorporates content, user metadata, and network structures. We consider two tasks, tweet classification and user classification. For tweet classification, we envision the utility of employing LLMs to identify distinctive features of tweets associated with an influence campaign. For user classification, we aim to classify users as either drivers of influence campaigns or organic innocent users. We propose four different models based on users' shared content, users' interaction, users' centrality and interaction network, and users' metadata. To build our supervised models, we use data from multiple verified influence campaigns, including Twitter's information operation datasets and data related to Russian Twitter trolls. The classification is carried out using the open source LLM LAMA2 released by Facebook, and we use the Microsoft Guidance repository to implement both zero and few short prompt techniques. For carrying out the fine tuning process, we utilize the LAMA factory repository, and then an example of a prompt is illustrated in the figure on the right. We conducted a series of experiments to assess the performance of our proposed methods versus the baseline approach called linguistic cues to deception from uh, um, an ICWSM paper. And we tested our models on multiple information operations originating from Russia, Egypt, Ecuador, and Venezuela. The results of these experiments are illustrated in the figure in the slide, while the table aggregate, aggregates the results of the four campaigns considered in this work. There are a few noteworthy observations. First, among the proposed models, the content-based approach consistently demonstrates strong classification accuracy across various campaigns. Second, the metadata-based model also achieves promising classification results with the highest AUC among the evaluated approach. Other models, however, show limited classification capabilities across campaigns. The baseline approach excels in identifying the 2016 uh, Russian campaign, but experiences diminishing efficacy with more recent influence operation. Overall, these results indicate the potential of LMs to adapt to more sophisticated and unseen campaigns in which malicious actors could evade existing detection solution. In the interest of time, I've only scratched the surface of our findings and methodologies, and I invite you all to delve into our paper and attend our talk at the web conference for a deeper understanding of our methods. Thank you.